Hey, glad that you are here. So today we are going to see UI testing, where I will show you simple testing as well as some complex testing. In the simple testing, we will see that when a screen is loaded, we see whether the required widgets which should be shown on the screen are visible or not. And in the complex testing, we will see interactions with the text field as well as button. So let's get started. Today we will be going to see that in the login screen we have the scaffold, a logo and a login form. So to test these we will create in the presentation folder, in the journeys folder and in the login folder we will create a new file which will be login screen underscore test dot dot. In this file we will create main function like we did in the previous video and we will write a setup method. Okay, here we will have a widget that we will pump and to initialize that widget, we will have multi block provider or let's say, let's start with material app so that I can explain you what every part of this app uh, actually does. So in material app, you will have home where you will have login screen because this is your required thing, right? You want to test login screen. So you have to launch it in the material app. Now to make this login screen work, we will need a multi block provider as well. Okay, and what all blocks we need? So basically three blocks we need. Login, loading and language. So you define three mocks for these three like this as we did in the previous videos. Okay. After that you define three variables for these blocks as you define the widget and then you also make sure that you initialize these. You will provide these blocks in the multi block provider. Now, we also have some translation related content. So, we have to also provide the basic locale, the supported locales, and the delegates. So, for that, we will take help from the material app, which we already have, and copy the content as it is from there in the locale we will again use the default locale, locale which is english for us and we will also mention that we support two types of locales okay now after this we are completely ready to pump this widget now before going there tear down the blocks which we have declared after that, write the test widgets, give the, uh, give the description of the test and this will take in widget tester with async. Here, we are going to write await tester.pump widget which will be our app and then we are going to write await tester.pump and settle. Then we are going to expect that find by key, uh, sorry, find by time because uh, there is a unique type of widget. So we can do that here. So find by type whether the logo is there or not. Right here, find this one widget, which means that we are expecting that logo type widget is present in the login screen. So you want to expect that login form is also there. Now simply uh, go to your terminal and run this command and let's see whether it works or not. So there is an error and there is an error because we have um, probably missed one of the lines which is set height was called on null. So let's, let's go to a place where set height would have been called. Okay. So go to the login screen and see here sizes dot dimension 32 dot h and what is this h h actually calls screen util dot set height which means that we forgot to initialize screen util before writing any of the ui code once this is initialized and now we run it with the file let's rerun it and let's check it out okay so we are clear with this thing now let's move and close everything 
And now let's move to another screen, which is in the presentation. Uh, you can see here presentation, journeys, login, and login form. So now we will be creating something for this login form. And if you don't remember what is there in the login form, you can go and check out the 16th part of this series, which is authentication. There I have shown you in the login form, you have two text fields and a button. So what we are going to do here is create another file. You are going to test the form only. Okay. So here as well, we will need these three mocks. We will import all the uh, dependencies because the dependencies are almost similar to this file. Ones which are not used will be deleted later on. In the main app again, you want to have all these things. Okay, and make sure to close this. Now, this is general stuff that we will do, but here instead of login screen, we will have to give the scaffold. And then here we will give home. Oh, yeah, sorry, uh, body. And then we will give login form. So, here instead of putting in login screen, we are injecting, or we are, you can say we are pumping login form. So, the first test widget that we will be writing here is we will try to see whether uh, our error message is displayed or not when the username or password is entered is false. This is our username and password the text call that should show error message when sign in API call with username password is similarly here itself again we will have a sync tester okay now we are back to normal right first thing uh, <coughs> We can uh, anyway uh, pump this widget like this, okay, and we will write app here, fine. We have pumped this widget and then we have wrote, uh, written pump, but we want to also mock whenever there is an API call. We want to say that this API call will always fail because we want to simulate a failure scenario. For that, we will write when login qubit mock dot state, then answer. login error with error message as translation constants dot session denied suppose this is your error message so whenever you are calling login qubit dot mock dot state means whenever the ui is trying to get the value of the current state of login qubit mock it will always return login error now what we need to do is we need to write finders where we want to find username field okay and here we will write find by key and you will write const value key okay now uh, this key uh, will be uh, the key that you have provided in the login form so let's go to login form check what is the key here for the username field copy it and paste it here this is your first key similarly you will create a password key and here you are going to write password and you can cross confirm here that it's written password text field key now similarly you are going to find a button as well which we will need to click on later on so finder here and sign in button okay now i will tell you how uh, by type how you can do by type and you will write text button here the reason for text button i will tell you why so go to login form you are here this button we created in this button on tap is not happening means the system does not know the test sdk does not know whether this button is a text button right it it uses child as a text button because it is not extending text button it is not a button actually it's just a normal widget so how the test framework knows that this is a tappable right so for that you need to go to that specific widget where it is actually tappable and the system and the flutter sdk knows it okay so go to the login form test again here we have found it completely now we will write basic uh basic ui valid ui expectations also like username field is found one time password field is found one time and button is found one time let's try to run that 
FEM flutter test. Copy the related path, paste it. Let's see whether this much test runs or not. Okay, so this much has run. Now what we will do is we will enter text. So for that we will write await tester dot enter text, and here we will write username finder, and then we will tell that okay write in this text. I think uh, put it. So in username uh, field sorry we will write username and in password field we will write password and once we have written that okay we would like to uh, rebuild the ui so for that we will write pump this will rebuild the ui now once it is rebuilt we want to tap on the button right so await tester dot tap and for this we will have sign in button where we will tap and again we will have to rebuild the ui after the button is hit we will expect that find dot text now this time we are searching by text so we since it's an error message okay and we have passed in session denied error message so we will try to find whether session denied message was displayed or not so this is our expectation okay after this we also want to verify that in the login form whenever this button is pressed we want to verify that initiate login method was called or not so for that we will verify that login qubit mock dot initiate login with any text or you can be very specific with the text as well because uh, if whatever the text of the field is you want to check that the method should be called with those text only right so verify that this method is called one time okay now let's try to rerun the test okay everything is passed now this is a failure scenario correct it is working fine <clears throat> now unfortunately i want to show this uh, i don't know why this problem is if i am creating another test case with the same uh, body of the test case okay just changing the description so that it runs eh? and then i will show you uh, it doesn't actually run that's very weird i am not able to find a solution to it and anyone of you if someone for, finds a solution to this problem please let me know i have been digging this for three four days now and because of this this video has been delayed by three four days otherwise it would have been completed before so first test case is passed but the second test test case fails this is completely weird. So for, for just to show you a success scenario, I am going to comment out this whole thing and work on the success scenario. Now, in the success scenario, when login qubit mock dot state is fetched or is referred, we want to have login success state. Okay, this is our uh, uh, when statement. So we are saying compiler that okay, whenever login qubit mock dot state is referred, please return login success state okay we keep this as it is we keep this as it is and this as it is only the thing that will change is this time session denied will not be there so let's try to run this and try to fail this first currently it should fail because once it's a success we don't want error message to be displayed right so this is this will fail and the failure message is zero widgets with text session denied were found that means that our test case will work when we are saying that whenever there is a success we don't want to see this message on the contrary part this will always be written here because on the tab of button we want to make sure that the initiate login method is called every time now there is one more thing we are navigating to the screen if you go to the login form and if you see here in the listener we are navigating now we are navigating to the home screen okay so how do we simulate or how do we test that our navigate our navigation is working fine so for that we need another mock this time it will be navigator observer mock which extends mock and implements navigator observer okay so this is our mock for navigator observer try to declare this variable here 
say it observer we want to also initialize this observer right now where do we pass this observer so basically in material app we have this legacy that we give navigator observers and here our first and only observer will be this observer okay after passing this on the success want that expect observer dot did push any root okay sorry uh, not on expect sorry uh, it will be on verify because mocks are called on verify uh, verify take some mock okay so that was a mistake uh, fine so let's again run this for the final time all done so we are good with the ui testing and this is how you have to actually write test cases so this is it from this video next we will see how we push this app to production show some love by liking this video and subscribing the channel also share this series with your friends as well thanks for watching see you in the next video